DCF Cat. This is what we learn. This is what we come for peace, for quiet, for time alone. CCA, Chicago Christian Academy. We are the people of the United States of America. How do I say goodbye? Number one, Paris Bassett, age 16. Number two, Samuel Benavente, age 14. Number three, Rogelio Calderon, age 17. Number four, Chavez Clark, age 18. Number five, Salvador Contreras, age 18. Number six, Joseph Garcia, age 18. Number seven, Miguel Gomez, age 16. Number eight, Ruben Ivy, age 18. Number nine, Arthur Jones, age 10. Number 10, Khadija Marsh, age 15. Number 11, Israel Mendoza, age 13. Number 12, Dalvin Miller, age 14. Number 13, Leonardo. Otero, age 15. Number 14, Miguel Pedro, age 15. Number 15, Joseph Perez, age 17. Number 16, Jarrell Smith, age 17. Number 17, Shannon Taylor, age 18. think about about 08 so far man man it's just been a rough year you know what i'm saying people out here getting killed over hats like these you know what i'm saying people out here just out of treacherous running the streets ain't even giving a care about another man's life but you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't know what's gonna happen or what it's gonna take for them to understand that that's not the type to be you need to be on more positive stuff because the worse are we getting that's the worst of these generations going to be. Because they starting off at a young age. It ain't grown men that's murking people out here. It's little boys, 14, 13 years old, learning from their daddy out on the block. And young kids today, they see us, young adults today, they thinking, well, they doing it, it's okay. And they going to teach them. They friends and they friends going to teach their little sisters, their little brothers do the same thing. And that's the reason we down out there because we ain't teaching the positive we're not a positive role model to these young kids. Right now, it's kind of bad for us young teenagers because there is a lot of people dying. It's not older people. It's our youth that's dying. And people don't understand. Sometimes violence does does affect our society. It affect our society a lot. But I'm real sad. You know, that was my friend. Shannon was my baby's father. And you know, to tell my baby that his father ain't coming back, he asleep. It's just hard, but it's real crazy how you can just sit and talk to one person, and then the next day they just gone. You know what I'm saying? And when you face that reality, I mean, it's hard to accept it when you was just talking to that person, but it affected me deeply. So these kids realize that. You know what I'm saying? The government and the police really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Till they start realizing that and start taking action for themselves to, you know what I'm saying, to want to better their neighborhood. Ain't nothing's going to change because, in my opinion, I don't see a solution because the solution starts with us. And if we don't want to try to make a solution and if we ain't trying to produce no solution, there will be no solution. You can't force, you can't force cooperation. You can't force, you know what I'm saying? 
good behavior. It has to start with us. And but if we ain't got nobody to look up to or you know what I'm saying, have a good positive role model for us to want to be like or just be similar to us. I mean, we just gonna continue that being a drug dealer and you know what I'm saying, running the streets is the way to go. The statistic. Well, anytime somebody young dies, it's tragic, you know. Especially his age, he ain't really get to see nothing in life. That's what's the saddest thing about it to me. And then him getting shot, a lot of people view it as another statistic. You know, really, if you want to hear what I think about it, I um, said, I miss a lot of people down in shot already. And my mom told me that, no, it's always been a lot of people down but now it's just people you know. I wish I had a solution to, to uh, street violence, but, uh, you know, I've been watching it for now for some years. And, uh, you know, as you know, we, we've just buried two students in the last six weeks. You know, the mural out in the, in the parking lot shows Back when I was here in, like, this in the mid-90s, there were kids that were getting killed the same way. So it was 10, 12 years, and, you know, basically we're still killing each other over, you know, stupid stuff. And I, you know, I, I don't think there's a simple solution. I mean, I don't think you can just say, well, there's too many guns. Yeah, of course there's too many guns. But... We have to find a different way of dealing with conflicts without pulling out a gun. Uh, and we need to find other things to do besides just hanging out or maybe dealing in act illegal activities. But until we do something like that, until we do something fundamental, I don't see things changing too much. Been in the streets, you know, there ain't nothing. But I know how to pull myself out. You know, I could take the streets with me to school. Then put that together, and then you just got bam, what a combination. It's all a man game. Just think before you think before you make your move. I found my own solution to uh, stand away from violence, and I found out that using your brain is better than using brawn. Because you know, I just got into this chess thing, and we already have like eight trophies within a couple months, and, and that. And that's amazing, you don't, you don't think so? Yes, I do. Yeah. Me, you know, I used to be out on the streets, gang bang, stuff like that. You know, when you bust a gun, it feel good. So I understand the things that they going through, you know what I'm saying? When you have that firepower in your hand and you can do whatever willing with it, you know what I'm saying? But once you uh, draw your mind to other things and open up to it, then you'll be able to go on and live your life right and tell people that you can't what you came from. Instead of gang wars, we should have chess wars. Because chess <laughs> is nothing but a war game anyway. See, all you gotta do is strategize and then just pin the king and then you boom! And that's where you can take your aggression out. That's what I do. We, we all can sit in the you know, class and in a room or you know, a basketball game. We can all get along, you know, oh, as long as, it. you know, we, you know, sit and talk Show to each, each other, other talk respect. amongst each other, and, you know, give each other the farewell of respect that, you know, that Treat the person like owes you, and, and, you know, yeah, yeah, like brothers and sisters, man. Treat each other how you want to be treated yourself. You could, you could, you know, prevent the gun violence, the gang violence, you know, gang violence. Gangs is getting old, tell you the I'm truth. saying, if y'all want to get the gang, just get one big gang. Everybody together. Man, <laughs> something like the love clip together. Like y'all, like 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 GDs be saying they GDs. What is a GD? They say it's a gangster disciple, but well, I'm I a god disciple. Like So I won't have to travel six hours to see him in jail And I wish that my grandmother wasn't sick Or that we would just come up on some stats and hit a lick And I wish my homies wouldn't have to suffer When the streets get the upper hand on us And we lose a brother And I wish I could go deep in the zone And lift the spirits of the world with the words within the soul And I wish I could teach a soul to fly Take away the pain out your hands and help you hold them high And I wish my homie Butch was still alive And know the day of his death we had never took that ride And I wish that God could protect us from the wrong So that all the soldiers that were sent overseas come home And uh, we will never break, though they devastate We shall motivate and we gotta pray All we gotta is faith Instead of thinking about who gon' die today The Lord is gon' help you feel better So you ain't gotta cry today